Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Nate Gaming, and we are going to be continuing on with Mafia 3's walkthrough. This is part five of this very awesome walkthrough. So um, let's get started. So the last time we were on here, we uh, succeeded the heist and breaking into the Federal Reserve, and then got betrayed. So now, I'm going to see what happens next. Oh, and um, before we get started into it, I just wanted to point out a few things which I finally figured out after a while. Um, now, you can change the difficulty from here, which I didn't know you can do this. I was, I was kind of blind when I first started this. I didn't know that this was here. But yeah, you go to game settings, or you can change difficulty, and you can even change the simulation driving. So, actually, as of right now, I'm going to try that and see what changes in that. Mm, but, yeah, um, also you can choose display, you can turn down the audio, which I've been trying to do all day, because most of the music in here is mostly copywritten anyway. Um, what else, what else? And display you know brightness or you know, whatever if you're on PC that'd probably be um graphics control or something like that but yeah something I just wanted to point out that I couldn't find out in the first place but yeah we're gonna see how this simulation driving um <clears throat> actually differs from the normal alright let's go Padre doesn't seem too keen on the plan you don't need to worry about him. I just hate to encounter any of that Catholic guilt I'm always hearing oh, about. Come on. He knows every low life thing I've ever done and has never ratted me out. If I say we can trust him, we can trust him. Oh my gosh, these Better old enough. cars. Do you mind telling me what we're really doing? We're going to kill Marcano and all. What do I have to. All the assholes who work for. Bullshit. If that's all you're after, you'd grab an XM21, smear on some face paint, and they'd all be dead before dinner. And you sure as hell wouldn't need a tack -off. Oh my gosh. I don't get it. I think something's wrong with this car, yo. These old cars are not working right. Where was I? And you sure there as hell go. wouldn't need a tack off center and all this other shit you've asked me for. After I got back, yeah, my condo offered me the hollow. Said it was time for Sammy to retire. I told him no. So you think what happened is your fault? Hard to see it otherwise. <laughs> what do you think Sal was going to do? Host a little party for Sammy? Maybe give him a gold watch and a plaque congratulating him on his retirement? We both know there's only one way out of the life. And you still haven't answered my question. I'm gonna take over the city, district by district. Balcano wanted me to run the hollow? Fuck him. By the time I'm done, I'll be running the whole goddamn city. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Assuming, of course, you're up for something that strenuous. How the fuck wouldn't I be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you got shot in the face? I might have lost a step or two, but it'll come back to me. Always does. God, if that isn't the fucking truth. One other thing. Probably not much of a surprise, but most of the cops in this town are in Sal's pocket. Yeah, gonna always assume that. Just being diligent. The cops see you fighting Sal's goons. They're coming after you, every time. So I think they finally stopped talking. All right, so the uh, the simulation driving is not bad. Ooh, completely missed that turn. And hello, police officer, how you doing? Yeah, pull over to the side right there, and uh, we'll completely ignore you. <laughs> but yeah, simulation driving doesn't seem to be that bad. It must be uh, damage or something. I'm not even sure how this is working, because I mean I've never seen simulation driving in a game like this. You know, I've only seen this in racing games. Never in a game like this, no, never. You sure you don't need a ride? No, wow, no, look at good. this place. I'll be at the motel. Come see me when you're ready. This place is completely burnt down. Alright, you have to go up there. I think so. Hold it. Come on, move it. Alright. I guess I can't walk through the front door, huh? All right, let's climb in and see what we uh, once had. <laughs> mm, 
getting some flashbacks there. Welcome home, son. That's, that's really, really cool. Hey, bullshit they are. This guy's a beast. Wow. I want you to run the hollow. <laughs> That's really got to hurt to come back to all that. Like, really, though, it really has to hurt to come back to that. So. So, hey, in a way, it's kind of a good thing he actually uh, chose the basement. Yeah, he chose the basement for a good reason, I guess. I think all this stuff is still there. It's a bad idea. Lots of boys dying over there in Vietnam. There's something I gotta do. Uh, I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. That idea. I left the pocket of this old white man just to come around here raising him. Take this with you. It's always brought me good luck. I can't do that. Dang, look at that. On the side of his head, yo. You never want me. This boy is ready to fight. <laughs> Man. I got the scars to prove it, too. And I earned a freaking trophy from that. That's cool. Um, when you're out in the field, any money you collect will be stored in your wallet. If you get if you're killed in action, you'll lose a sizable portion of the money in your wallet. So it's best to stash it. Cool. Use the safes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. It's almost like uh Grand Theft Auto where um <laughs> you leave your money in your wallet, you die, some of that money drops out. And people can steal it. But difference is you gotta run all the way back to your house just to store it away. Um, alright. Is this our um is this our car? I'm still waiting for the pre the pre order bonuses. I still have not seen them yet, so I guess I'm, I'm gonna try to be patient. I'm gonna try to be like really, really, really patient with that. Okay, go into a little motel thing. Alright. Oh! Did not mean to do that at all. <laughs> Uh, that's I, I I can never stand the new PlayStation 4 controllers. You're know, like so sensitive. Like like if my finger like leaned on it for like a couple of seconds, yo, know, it's it's like game over. It really sucks. <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Is why I, well, I got be black. From the I can't be white. Things Just saying. Tits up, <laughs> those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And where you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience. Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Del Rey Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. It's got him running heroin. 
trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. He managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. So he gave the hollow to the Dixie Mafia. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of. Mm. That's crazy. Alright, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get in this car. Since we came in it, I'm gonna take it back. Take it with us. On this. Lovely, lovely journey. But I guess since, um, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll stop with the story for right now. Let's just look around because this is probably like the best time we've actually ever gotten to like somewhat free roam around here. You know? Here, let me take this off. I'm on, I mean, I want to go to the story, but I want to see what's going on in the world of uh, New Bordeaux. Because um, so far it's been story on story on story. Story's great, but I want to look at the I want to look around. It's an open world game, and is that car door open? The excuse me, sir. Yeah, your your car door is open. Hello. Your your car door it's it's wide open. And I I guess I gotta stop him. He doesn't even, he's, he's so stupid he doesn't even know. Hold up. Sir, sir, I, I guess I guess I gotta come out my car and show this to you that your your, your door is wide open. Oh 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 ma'am. Ma'am. That's what they all look alike. Jeez. Again, this thing is a hunk of junk. Good god. Dang it, I did it again. Oh great. Witnesses are civilians who rush to the phone or the nearest cop if they see you commit crimes. Take them out. Really? So it's like watchdogs. I gotta stop them from calling the cops. Nope. No, 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 no. Got a ball, spare my life. Everybody run! Okay, that's how you put the gun away. All right, let's let's uh, get back to the story. Let's see who this mystery person is. Now that we've had our um, thirty seconds of fun. <laughs> All right. Um, oh look, we're right down the street too. How interesting is that? All right. I'm really interested to see what that is. Let mm. us finish up on the story right here. Someone needs to take his keys away. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna sit right here and I guess wait. I guess. <laughs> Sorry. Heard they're flying. See what we see what we're waiting for. It still amazes me they expect well, us to believe it was you. one man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. Too pat. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat. And someone can take it Why, all hello. Away, just like that. Huh? Guess it's time to move into action, huh? 
Hey there, brown sugar. You sure looking sweet today. <laughs> wow. So find the informant. Get them to talk. Interrogate them. Cool. Suckers when they shit like clockwork. And we about to take them apart piece by fucking piece. If that don't work, right. we just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. Huh? Bad shit going down. Alright. Where'd he come from? We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit, get to the voodoo shop. Uh -oh. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, come brother. Come on, come on, come on. Speak. Speak if you fall or something. Mm. That is some gory shit. All right. Let's heal ourselves and forget that we just saw the probably one of the most glorious things I probably ever seen on a video game my god so we're going to like a strip club I think where the Dixie Mafia is basically alright so let's get into this car I'm definitely taking this car Maybe we're going, oh, we're going to a shop or something. Yeah, we're going to, like, I guess, you know, somebody uh, give us information and shit like that. No information is good. So, so far I've been driving on simulation driving. Um, don't really see a big difference. Actually, if anything, it feels a little bit, well, easier to drive to me, in my opinion. I think that's just my opinion. Alright, let's park it right here. If we can get Walk right on it. On our side and showing up to the rally oh really, I gotta break in. And they're not open. Okay, we accomplished absolutely nothing opening up that door. Alright, what else is in here? I wanna say... Okay, we're really accomplishing nothing. Let's just go upstairs. I have a feeling everything is probably gonna be upstairs. Yep. Oh, all this waiting game. Just waiting and waiting. Well, nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sam and I were fighting because the people in the holler deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. 
who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have the Harwan, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucet. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs. You know, for old time's sake. Damn. That's real cold. That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. Wow, so... Like I said, um, this game can get a little bit racist at times. Uh, it's a little bit hard to uh, think of it for old time sakes. I mean, grabbing uh, black teenagers off the street and then starving them to death and then sicking the dogs on them like they're slaves just for the old time sake. That's not that's not really cool, you know. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end this vid this uh video right here this is uh part five of the walkthrough of mafia 3 if you want to see some more mafia 3 walkthroughs make sure you like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from my channel of mafia 3 but that's all the time i got for today on this video i'll see you guys for part six